cracking everybody another new video today i picked let me see one two three four i picked four uh comments or questions out of my comment uh section right and we're gonna go ahead we're gonna mix them up i can't see them uh, we're gonna answer them. See where we go. Okay, so the first one is regarding the I'm done with California video, right? Bruins fan 1966 says California must like it. They keep voting Democrat. LOL. Well, Bruins fan, that's what I don't get, right? is people are so um, stuck on wanting to vote Democrat that they vote these people in and then they realize how unbearable, how unaffordable it is to live out here instead of sticking around and... Um, voting a different way, registering a different way or whatever, they move out. And so that's why, you know, California has more people that move out of the state than move in. And I think it's been like that for at least the last 10 years. And so it's, it's a weird thing. And I know people are going to say, well, you're leaving California too. I am. You got to remember, um, I was 19 when I went into prison the last time. I was 43 when I got out. Um, I'm about to be 47, right? And so I got a late start on life, and I want to own a home. And I can't vote, right? But regardless of that, I cannot own a home in California. I'm, I'm not going to be able to buy a home. I'm not willing to pay 250 or 300000 for a fucking townhouse or a condo or something. I'm not doing that you know what I mean I want I want a home so that's a big reason why I'm leaving okay next another one with I'm done with the I'm, I'm done with California video and this is I don't know how you say his name it's P-A-N and then a, number eight and then a and I was gonna call him Panza but Pan Panea Panada, maybe it's Panada, huh? He's trying to be slick. Okay, check this one out. No matter where you go, you are still going to be angry. I agree that this law is ridiculous, but you gotta get over it. Stop sweating this shit. You're pushing fifty. You need a hobby that'll get your mind off stupid ass politics. <laughs> Mom, is that you? <laughs> so let's go through the first. Let's just let's let's break this amazing comment down. So, no matter where you go, you're still going to be angry. I mentioned it in the comment section, right? I responded back to your comment. I'm gonna say it again here for those that didn't see it. I'm not a person that holds on to hate or anger. That stuff takes up way too much energy, right? So, um, because I do videos and I'm willing to, um, state my, my leanings, um, that should actually, even if you don't agree with it, should be respected because there's a lot of people that won't say, you know, because they're afraid of uh, uh, losing subscribers or whatever. And uh, this platform is open, you know what I mean? As long as everybody's respectful, you know, say what you gotta say and it's respected, okay? Uh, you say that you agree that the law is ridiculous, but you gotta get over it. Nah, there shouldn't be a but in that, right? Um, stop sweating this shit, you're pushing 50. You need to find a new hobby to get your mind off of stupid ass politics. 
That is a crabs in a bucket mentality. Ah, just get over it. Is it going to go away? No, it's not. It's going to embolden people that are behind this. And we still don't know the motives. I feel like I have an idea of what the motives are. But I'm going to give an example. And this is not uh, a, hobo, a homophobic um, um, outlook. But I want to just remind people how long ago, how many years ago was it where um, there was this big push for um, same-sex marriage and um, equality for, for the, the gay community? Which, hey man, they, they're a minority, they deserve protections, whatever. But now, how many shows are there where you don't see a gay character? A man kissing a man, a woman kissing a woman. To each their own. Whatever happens in your bedroom is your business, right? But now we have people, uh, we have teachers teaching um, acceptance of homosexuality in school which I don't, I don't get why that needs to be in our school. Um, so if we have people trying to normalize pedophilia, nah, what's next? 10 years down the line, it's all good, it's okay. Nah, so um, you can go ahead and, and put a butt in that sentence and be okay with it. And um, that's your prerogative. Me personally, it's not okay. It is never gonna be okay when people s s try to normalize um, abnormal behavior, okay? So there's that. Uh, regarding inmates, possibly, I, so I did a commun community post. And on it, I, I, I was sent something that said that um, California, well, inmates, period, right? But, I, you know, I'm in California, so uh, that inmates may be eligible for these uh, stimulus checks, $1,200 stimulus checks, right? And so Randy says, it's unfair to the taxpayers. And he, exclamation mark. Okay, Randy, so... Um, not sure how much uh, how informed you are about how people are incarcerated um, don't know if you're from California but I want to I want to point something out to you if you are from California um, in California it costs over a hundred thousand dollars to house one inmate if they have uh, mental issues, that number is a lot higher, okay? So let's just say an average of $100,000 to house an, an inmate in California. But it's half that everywhere else. I think that is unfair to the taxpayers. Now, other than the last five years, maybe, the California Department of Corrections had their priority with incarceration was punishment, not rehabilitation. That is unfair to taxpayers because 90% of inmates are not lifers. Around that number, I don't know the exact percentage, but they're not lifers. And so they come in and they perfect criminality and then they're released back into the communities. And they're still full of hate. They're still full of anger. They still have their addictions. Uh, they haven't been able to get any type of help uh, from a positive point of view, right? And they victimize people like you. Um, that that's that you know that is wrong. Now, that to the side. We need to be clear. Um, The stimulus checks, I could use it. We could all use it, right? But stimulus checks, if we're being 100% real, are unfair, period, to anyone, no matter who gets it. And the reason why is this. Our country is printing money now. 
that has no value. Um, we're not collect the, the government isn't collecting the taxes that it was, especially with so many people unemployed, right? And so if you have, we'll keep it on a small scale. If I'm collecting 50 cents a day, but I have the ability to print paper and I'm paying out $10 a day, um, that fucking paper that I'm printing it on isn't even worth a penny. And that's what we have going on with our government. Um, this pandemic was used and has been used and is still being used for political purposes. Um, we already know, all the experts have said that people that get COVID have a 99% chance of surviving it. And yet everything's still shut down. And while it's shut down, you have these politicians who are multi, multi-millionaires pretending they give a fuck about the little guys like us, pretending they know the plight of the middle class or the plight of the poor. They have no fucking idea. And so we have these, let's do a trillion dollar package and let's do a $4 trillion package. No, let's do a $2 trillion package. That money is worthless, man. And our generation may not have uh, to fill it as much, but our kids will and their kids will. Um, this is the bankrupting of America. This is a plan, man. This is not something that just happened on a fluke. I'm not gonna get into all that, but just understand there's so many things that are not right to the taxpayer and them possibly giving some inmates uh, a little bit of money. Honestly, it's not even a drop in the bucket. When they're talking about trillions. Last one. This is regarding the Know Your History video. And Mike Mike asked, We have always been here, but why are we at the bottom? Are the systems designed to keep us there? That was a great question. When I saw the question, when it when I first went through the comments, I was like, wow, that's a good question. It's a deep question. Um uh, and I like others to give their opinion on that. Honest opinion, not no fucking trolling. Um, there's so many, in my opinion, there's so many things, man, where, first of all, I wanna say, I wanna make clear, when you ask, are the system designed to keep us on the bottom? Absolutely not. Um, there's an old saying, and I wrote it down on here when I saw this, and I put, your only limitation is your imagination. And that's true shit, man. This country, more than anyone, more than any country on the planet, man, you can be born addicted to drugs because your mom was, was on shit. This is just an example. You can be born addicted to drugs, put in a foster care system, uh, had a real rough upbringing, and still, if you work hard, become a millionaire, multimillionaire, a successful businessman successful member of society there aren't that many places that can do that man and what we need to do is not look outside of ourselves for our success and that's where a lot of people go wrong in life they're trying to base their success off of something they see on tv or something they see someone else doing that's their success not yours uh, and 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 they have their drive you got yours Figure out uh, what motivates you and put your effort into it. But don't worry about, oh man, well, they're tripping on me or, um, you know, this this is in place to stop me. Well, if something's put in place to stop you, then figure out how to go around it or over it or under it. You don't got to go through it. That's what gets you in trouble, right? But I spoke about it where... Uh, during the conquest, there was uh, the creation of an, of an infer inferior, inferiority complex. And then through the, the years, uh, it's deepened. And unfortunately, I think more than any other people, the Raza has the crabs in a bucket mentality really bad. Uh, a lot of it has to do with ego. Um, 
people comparing each other themselves to another rather than just being motivated and understanding that the more of us that succeed the more opportunities that opens up for the rest of us and we need to get that in our heads man um so that's all i can i can see on that the video is already 15 minutes uh i don't want to i don't want to hold you guys up but I wanted to answer a few questions. And if you guys want me to do this more often, I, I will. Um, for you guys that, you know, there's some people that that um, that don't know this, but I only remove comments that are disrespectful, um, whether it's to me or to another uh, uh, subscriber who's making a comment. I do not delete any comments that are respectful but um expressing an opinion that's different than mine i respect that i respect opinions right unfortunately youtube itself for some reason they pull comments and i don't always see them but i saw one where uh uh gina and mark the gina vasquez show they sent me a, a comment and somehow it was it was snatched up and they weren't being disrespectful at all and i've seen other ones in there um that they've taken and i'm like why in the fuck are they stopping them so if that happens to you and you really want to get your point to me uh in the comment section just try it several times right but understand like i said if you're trolling and you're being disrespectful i'm gonna go ahead and remove the comments i'm not gonna have anybody especially being disrespectful uh, in the comment section towards people that want to express their opinions. Um, whether we agree with them or not, respect the opinion, the fact that they have one. Um, with that, I'm out.